All right, guys, let's go to the next stage here, okay? So this is looking pretty good, actually. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's going all right. So now we're going to do some crazy things, uh, some fun things. What's with crazy bellion? Come on. All right, so here's what I can do. Panels, all right, layouts, two paint. Well, usually I would do three. Layouts, let's go to uh, three paint split top, right? That work? Yeah, okay, cool. Panel down here. Whew, here we go. Okay, so uh, where is it? Uh, panel. Graph editor. That's the one I want here. So all this information is coming out. And this is my side view, and I want this one to be my perspective view, right? Cool. Press 5, 6 for texturing. This is good. Um, you guys, like, you know, this is kind of cool because you're seeing the shot in place right now. You're seeing that your animation's here. And you're, ooh, something is selected, not good. Let's spin around without selecting anything. This is the perspective view, okay? Eventually, I'm going to put a camera, in, uh, sorry, lights in there. So this is the uh, the graphic. Um, what am I saying? The orthographic view, that's it. And then once I select this, you will see, uh, the selectable, you will see the information here. Now, I should be changing everything. My, uh, I can hear Alex saying, Alexi, you haven't named your objects. How could you, ball? Ball underscore geo, ball geometry, cool. And this is my ground, and again, let's make a new layer, call it uh, ground. Yeah, save that. So if I just go, boop, gone, and then I'm gonna select the ball here, and make a new layer there, and then we'll call this ball geo. Oops, well, and I haven't really set up a camera yet, which will happen with you guys with the next assignment. Oh, what's this? Logic by the name, yes, indeed it is. You're right, because I have it over here. Geometry. Okay, save. Um, so that's pretty cool. Background, you guys know about it. Sweet, All right? Good stuff. So at this point, watch this. Translate one. All right, now we're looking at this. It looks good, right? And there's, watch how this is going to change now. I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to go spline this, okay? So watch here, auto, tangents, and let's press F to frame it in. Okay, not bad. Hmm, there's a little dip here, so this just should actually turn, come in. Well, what I'll do is I'll, okay, so the way it works is we're going to, let's see here. Other polygons. I was just going to bring my marker. I'm not working with a tablet right now, so I don't think this is going to work too well. Uh, let's see. Is it on here? Where can I find my marker? I don't know yet. It's usually... Regardless, so this should be a nice curve coming in and another curve going up. So if I look closely here, um, this key here, we're going to press W right now. I'm just going to smooth W. Just bring it down a touch here as well. Bring it down a touch. I just want that curve to be smooth. Here, I realize what's going on. Um, normally, if we don't, we want to go in the direction of the ball going right now. Kind of cool. Well, oh, it's a little low here. Then I'm going to bring this down a touch. I'll just leave that there and bring these guys up a touch. Okay, so watch this a little bit. And you come up a touch. And then mark these a touch. Okay, so you know you have a plan on paper, but then you have a different editing or polishing of this stage just a touch more. Yeah, you're good. Again, like um, W, middle scroll button, and just bring it up a bit. Okay, you, my friend, let's turn this into it a bit. Okay, so let's look at this now um, here. Press play. So it's no longer step, but watch what's happening, okay? This is uh, a little complicated, but shouldn't be after a while, okay? So at this point, if I press comma, start here, key one, two. Okay, these are my keys. It's looking okay, right? But the minute I start scrubbing through my timeline by holding option and period, watch now. Okay, not bad. I'm looking in this view right now, okay? So option, period, coming in, good, good, going in. Okay, so far, all right. Boom, it hits. Then it's going to go to squash, right? Ooh, <laughs> 
it, it, it overshot there. Okay, that's one. What else do we have? Any other issues? Okay, not bad. Uh, notice what's happening here. One. Here's the key. Next, jumps to there. 15, 16. So sometimes it's not holding for two frames, okay? Because there is movement. So what we're going to end up doing is copying over frames so it holds its position. So what I'm going to do right now is actually zoom in here and you can see that it's below zero, right? So that look, look at it, zero. That's why here, uh, let's go, come on. Boom, boom. Where'd you go? Oh, the way I picked that up, let me just do it like this, option. There, right there. You see that? Here is cool. So what's happening? Again, ooh, not bad actually. Right there, we just got a little sneaky guy happening here. So, I, a couple things I can do here. I can break this right now. Do it break. Uh, let's see, free tangent weight, break tangent, free tangent weight. If I just go over like that, well, what I'll do right now is press S to key that. Aha, yes, of course, that happened. So as soon as I did that, it went in step mode. So I need to go now into my animation and change things to spline. No longer, no longer linear. Okay, so that's an important thing. I should have said that earlier. Animation, spline, spline, good to go. Okay, again, we press preferences, the runner. Our runners are preferences. And so anything we do right now, so we're looking here at frame 10. And key, okay, he's down, right? So just bring him up a touch here. Let's do it visually as opposed to working in the graph editor. How's that? Look at that. That's how it should be right now. Okay, so here's where I'm going to actually zoom in. It'll scroll button. I'm going to break this guy here. Press break. You break. And you are already broken. So here's what I'll do. Let's take this and middle scroll and then just bring him up. Okay, like that. So really... It's not bad. We need to. I like when it and it kind of hugs the ground a bit. So you see here, it's just in line. So there isn't much of a change. Next one, boom. Now let's see what's going on here. Okay, so you went from 10 to 11, right? If I hold Option, I want it to hold that pose. Okay, so yeah, it's not bad. You know, we're in great, great. You know, in high school right now, I don't need to. Well, let's press S here. Okay, so there's my key here. There's not much of a change between here and there. Okay, so boom, boom, and then let's go to the next frame. It becomes uh, solid, like a full circle, and then it takes off, I tell you. It takes off. So if it wants to take off, here's what we can do. Okay, so you see how it's gradual. It's easing into it, but I want this drop to be hard, and I want the takeoff to be faster. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to break this one. Oh, I already did that one. Awesome. Let's just break it again. Okay. And pop here. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this one. I'm just going to give it a sharpness. Boom. Here. I'll take only one half of the tangent and just bring it up like that. And this one was just gradual, I believe. So let's see how this is going to look now. Okay. So if I press, uh, ooh, I didn't even save this. Ooh, man, let's do this for a second. Window. Somewhere around here, it's like uh, save, save, save. Where's it? Save current layout. That's it. Yes, window. I want this triple layout. Okay, so one being uh, front view, perspective, and graph header. So save uh, current layout, and I'm gonna call this animation. Oh yeah. Here we go. So right now, if I press spacebar, I'm only gonna watch this. Boom. There Lag. There's something going on over there, but we'll see in a second. Okay. Okay. Not bad. All right. So that's looking cool. And why don't I just send a play blast to this right now? And I'm going to call this play blast number three, and it's going to be polish. No worries. Aaron, it's okay. Uh, let's call this um, yeah spline. Spline zero one. Okay. Let's leave it at spline, and then apply it and see what happens. Okay. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Command L and spacebar. Ooh, I don't like that. What's going on? Got to find out. Got to check it out. Okay, cool. Not bad. All right. So uh, spacebar again. Back to my three view. Okay. And uh, 
let's see. Well, I can tell already the top here. Well, let me do something here for fun. Okay, there's the Y selected, right? You hear this? It's kind of weird. What's going on here? Oh uh, yeah, right there. But my key, my concern is up here, and I'm cycling it at 23:24, so it should be okay. Let me just do something here. Uh, Pre-infinity. I'm just going to cycle. Curves post-infinity. Cycle. View infinity, and then you should see. Oh, 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 oh there's there 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 there, my friend. Okay, let me just go to 24 here. Okay, and this key, that one needs to be copied right at 23. Okay. So there's a little jog here. That's probably what was happening. So normally, when I middle drag here all the way to 23, press S, copy it over. Hey, hey, not too bad, people. Okay, so what I'm going to do is flatten that out. Boom, flatten this one out. Boom, and my my arc is looking better here. Again, like back here, it's a little like you see how it's supposed to be gradually going up. So again, there's something. There are some um, things aren't looking that great here. That's not bad. So gradually go up to the next frame value, right there. So if I press W, just a touch, just a little bit. Touch like that. Next one, press comma. And another one there. Back it up. Just so my arc, my arc looks good. You, my friend, need to go up a touch as well. What you do is you just, oops, command Z. I'll just select that and just turn that. So it's going in this angle. Again, I'm not super happy with that, but considering mm, it's not bad. So again, I'm only going to play 22 frames because I don't want it to have a hiccup on the top. So 21, 22, right? Oops, why am I seeing that? Yeah, that's cool. So let's see how this cycles. Okay, so I'm just gonna click over here. Let's take a, you know what, let's do this. Let's take a perspective view, right? Okay, play Blast one more time and go to uh, Spline 02. Okay, and I'm just gonna go to 4 here. Okay, it's taking a long time, but that's fine. This is the part. And I'm up. All right, let's see. All right, so let's loop this, Command L, spacebar. Okay, what part of what I just did didn't work? Or maybe not. How about now? <laughs> okay, that's looking better. All right, I'm liking that. Okay, cool. All right, guys, I think I'll stop it here before this uh, video gets too long. I think we're at 13 minutes here. All right, Mr. Bellion out. Thank you very much. Stop capture.